this is Ron Perrin. What you've been looking at is about two and a half foot of sediment in a one million gallon ground tank out in West Texas. After we inspected it, the utility realized how much sediment was in there and they contracted us to go in and remove the sediment. This was mainly white sand, but all sediment is not this nice. This is a one million gallon elevated we're cleaning, and you can see that's not white sand. On the inside, the diver is in about 40 foot of water, and you can see the clean floor area, he's clean, and a couple of inches of sediment is what he's working on getting out. Outside, this is what it looks like. You can see my sample bottles I filled up there. The diver is completely sealed in his own environment. He's wearing a dry suit that's purchased for and only used in potable water, has his all of our gear, and then we wash everything down with the chlorine solution to meet American Water Works Association requirements. The next clip is a inspection video. We have specially made cameras that we use to go inside water storage tanks and that's what you're looking at. There's the bottom rung of the ladder and you can see the sediment is just an inch or two under the bottom rung, if that's the bottom rung. And this is very typical of what sediment was like in some water storage towers. We estimated this at 8 to 10 inches. And I'm pretty sure that was the bottom rung we're looking at. The rungs are about 12 inches apart. A community drinks from this water tower. We have recommended the tower to be cleaned two years in a row. We have found it like this. Here is a ROV inspection. We have a potable water ROV we use to inspect tanks. This is a one million gallon uh, tank in the southeast Texas area. And it has uh, three to four inches of sediment in the back of it. Florida has taken the lead requiring both inspections and cleanings at least once every five years. Many states do not even require inspection of water storage tanks and towers. In Texas, Rule 290.46, water utility operators are ordered to inspect their potable water storage tanks each year. Many operators are only able to get the funds to hire inspection contractors because tank and tower inspections are required by the state. No cleaning requirements means no money in the budget to pay for cleanings. No state or federal rules equals it's not important. These photos show otherwise. The end result is tanks do not get cleaned. Our company inspects some publicly operated potable water storage tanks and towers every year that need to be cleaned. The utility operator requests the money to clean the tanks and is refused because there are more important things to do with the money. Why should we want more rules? Requiring water tanks and towers to be cleaned on a state or federal level will make it possible for utility operators across the country to get the funds they need to do their jobs. Removing sediment from water storage tanks removes the habitat that bacteria, protozoa, and viruses can use to get a foothold in the water system and grow. It will also create jobs all across the country if this is a federal requirement. Visit ronparent.us. Let us know what you think. Thanks for watching my little rant. I hope it gave you something to think about.